Welcome back to Open House NYC. Now we go behind the doors of designer Gail Shields' home in Fire Island. And trust me, this is no ordinary beach house. See for yourself. I'm Gail Shields Miller, an interior designer in Manhattan. I'd like to welcome you to my Fire Island retreat. Come on in and check it out. I love to cook and I made sure that my kitchen wasn't too big that it was difficult to put a meal together, hence the two chopping blocks. I also show in my kitchen the mixture of materials, the cool sleekness of stainless steel against the warmth of wood, and also one little special touch which I couldn't resist, my knobs from Portobello Road in London made out of bone. The dining room is an important room in a fire island home. I designed a wonderful dining room table that has a top of African bobinga wood juxtaposed with a modern picnic style bronze base. I surrounded it with modern Brazilian chairs and an antique Korean wedding chest. The wall next to me is done in cerulean blue Venetian plaster and makes me think of the water. Now it's time to see where my design really shines. Let's go take a look at the living room. This cultural melting pot of a living room is a veritable UN of furnishings. Whether it be the African daybed that functions as a cocktail table, the 1940s Brazilian end table, the pair of wonderful reclining chairs, or the fantastic pilgrim chair from England, but my most favorite chair in the room is the one I personally designed, made of steer horns and covered in orange pony skin. I would describe the overall aesthetic of my bedroom as being more Asian. I've placed two beautiful Japanese tansus on either side of my bed, and on top of them, hand-thrown pottery lamps. My monolithic fireplace is made of Chinese slate. I love the effect that the Venetian plaster has on the walls in the bedroom. You get the sense that it's grass and bamboo growing around your bed. I've also incorporated the sliding doors in this room, which is a feature utilized frequently in Japanese architecture. This area of the property was nothing more than a mucky, marshy mess, just begging for a 60-foot long lap pool. Add to that a huge wooden deck, some bright colorful furniture, and striped umbrellas, and you're ready for a Fire Island party. Thank you for spending some time with me at my Fire Island oasis. I hope you have the same good fortune that I have had to find a place on this earth that gives you as much pleasure as this place does me. So kitchen counters and bathroom counters and floors came from Designer Heaven. Actually, they come from here. Actually, they actually start with God. We made the mountains, but that's what we do. We sift through all of the equipment and slabs until we find the ones we love to the most and we think our clients will like. I don't like this one. I'm allowed to reject. You see, that's why we're here. So I still like number one and number two. Can we move one more? Sure. What is this? Blue one is my favorite. Although I have to say, as gorgeous as the blue, as gorgeous as the blue is, there's a white one behind them that would just be the most beautiful piece of stone in somebody's bathroom. I'm going to think of a project for them, and you're going to help me find the right perfect. Piece. And guess what? I walk into a guy who gives me a card. His name is the Silver Fox, which is very intriguing as far as I'm concerned. Tell me about what we're looking at. It's all about a puzzle. It's based on James Carousel, which is located in Dumbo, Brooklyn. And we're, if you so, can go to it, oh yeah, you can go to it. On it $2. I love it. I'm at the Growers Showroom. This is the best spot in the whole showroom. This is where you can demonstrate both the shower heads and the handheld showers. This one is great paper for the bars right now. You can have, that's my idea of the shower, a jet spray where it's pinpointed. And Power and Soul has our active oh, massage spray where it just feels like a real massage. So this is an app yet? No, January 13th. So all the more reason to spend more time in the shower. <laughs> exactly. Or we use a little music. And if I could have a book in there, that was wonderful. I'd be happy as a client. Okay, 
Okay, ciao. Okay, so now I'm at the second stop of Design Walk on Thursday, and I'm at Flu, a wonderful Italian bed store or a store that's all about the bedroom. I would call it the bedroom store. It's uh, it was started with the bed, the one that we're sitting on. Actually. Which is called what? This one. This, this is, is the Right. This it is was the... designed by Vico Magistrati in 1978. It's what started Flu really. Flu uh, developed more beds after that, but really developed what we call the bedroom system, the bed system. And what was his name again? Man. Vico Magistretti is the designer. From Vico Magistretti, so that's great. 1978, and it's a, a super idea because we're sitting on it now, but if we got up, we could pick this up. We'll do it fast. Why don't we? Okay, why don't we? <laughs> so, you slip your hand here and just... Look at that. Well. You can store everything but your husband. You're not allowed to put your husband or your wife in there. Right? Well, <laughs> or a child. <laughs> who says you're not allowed? Oh, well. <laughs> I won't tell. Anyway, look at that. One, two, three, and we're done. Um, the best thing I heard when we were listening to the talk before that this bed came about, well, there are several reasons for comfort, but the Italian family apparently likes to, the mother takes, does everything, and they were looking for ways to make it easier for the mother to make the bed. And it was also at the same time, 1978, when the Italians were discussing the issue of divorce in Italy, which I'm sure was a major, major, major issue. Hey, so it's me, and I'm on the last stop of the design walk for the ASID. And we've been walking up and down the street looking for this place. It's one of these little hidden secrets, I guess. Finding 675 Hudson is like finding a needle in a haystack, but we found it. And we're going to go check it out and let you know what it's all about. Let's go on in. This is the track at Magma, and this is what they're known for. They're famous for this creation that allows you to put the television any place you want in the room. If you're looking at the video that I'm standing in front of, you can see that the TV is slowly making its way from the wall to the window so that the client, the people that live in the house, can watch it from the window. And later on, when they're finished, they can push the button and have it gone the other direction. Okay, okay. anyway, we have Gail Shields Miller. And the name of your company is? Shields and Company Interiors. Okay, and how many years have you been at it? Oh, I hate to say... Uh, 25. <laughs> 25. 25. Let's get over there. Okay. Now, you ask me my age. You know what I do. All right, but, well, I mean you came out of high school with this? <laughs> Absolutely. I was a baby. Oh, okay. Now, what is the qualifications of an interior designer? I think an interior designer has to be highly creative. Okay. Um, inspirational, enthusiastic. Um, a color nut. Really oh, really? Into, oh, yeah, you have to really be into color and shades and paint. What's, what's the in color now this year? Lavender? Actually, you want to know that's right. And you're wearing the right color shirt. Well, this How is, did you know? You know what this shirt is? What is This it? shirt is 746 shows old. Oh. <laughs> I wear the same. You're ahead of the curve, oh, obviously. I wear the same <laughs> outfit because we intercut the shows. Oh. The person wants to hire a interior decorator. Is it the budget comes first? I think first they want to... Um, Feel in sync with the person that they're working sync. with. In other words, there's chemistry. There's chemistry. Really important. Um, had somebody interview with me the other day, and he yeah. says, how do I know that you're going to be the right person for me? Yeah. And I say, because I, you really came to the right place. I'm professional. You can speak to 100 people that work with me, and you should sense it. I think when somebody's really good and creative, it's like meeting a person for the first time. It just, you know, it emanates from them, and you yeah. get to know that that person is great. So do you invite them over for dinner? I think it would be a very good idea. I'm going to take that suggestion. But usually I invite them to the office, um, or I take them to see something I've done, which I can... Is your home? My home is perfect here in the city. I live in a hotel, and it's beautiful. Oh, no, you live in a garage. Right? Um, well, no, thank God. Well, I live in a hotel. I live in a hotel, and it's fantastic. And then I have a wonderful house out in the country in Fire Island, which okay. is also fantastic. Where in Fire Island? Um, a place called Cornell Estates. It's a little itty-bitty community. Um, so you got to go schlep it by boat? Boat. Or, actually, we uh, drive across the beach. We have a permit because we've been living out there for a long time. Well, your grandfather did. I'm um, grandfathered in. We have this with our car. So we're out there all the time. That's actually our permanent residence. Oh, okay. And, really? Um, yeah. We Hurricane, reversed on living. Hurricane, whatever. Well, we evacuate. <laughs> okay. But we reversed on living. Yeah. And it's, it's wonderful. It's, um, we're crazy busy during the week. I'm working, my husband's working, and then we scoot out there on the weekends. Okay. It's a problem with a lot of interior designers. They may be very creative, they're but be they're, flaky not, and then they're not really good business people. So creative people have to um, 
either have a good business mm. advisor mm. on staff, mm. or I, I would say, actually, as I was thinking about it, I would think perhaps 90% of my business is business, yeah. and 10% is the creative part. Yeah, right, right. Making sure the orders are right, making sure they come in time, taking care of the problems. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how many jobs do you have going at one time? Can you handle um, two or three or four? Oh, yeah, no, no, no. I have usually um, three or four nice jobs, yeah. and then a handful of other jobs where I might be doing somebody's living room furniture, or I might be doing... Um, oh, you'll go and shop with the furniture for them? Oh, yeah, I do everything. And or you art. schlep them down to the No, uh, I either find them, or, or if I need to schlep them, I schlep them. Some yeah. people need to sit on a toilet, other people need to lie on a bed, yeah. whatever they need. You have to be really service-oriented. Um, mm -hmm. Because otherwise, you're not worth yeah, the wait. Yeah, no. right. What's right. the weirdest job you ever did? Well, the weirdest thing I ever did was mm -hmm. paint the inside of a toilet. Okay, okay. now commercial property. I offices? Um, I've done offices. I've done um, hallways in apartment buildings. I've done stores. I did a, a jewelry store once. Oh, um, really? Yeah, I did a condo development where we did their their offices up front and did their models. I did lots of model apartments. Mm -hmm. um, or oh, when they're building the building, they yeah, and they need model apartments. Uh, I said that that's mostly what I'm limited to. The next thing I want to do is a hotel. Yeah, the design building is on 200 Lex, which is down the block, yeah. on 32nd uh, yeah, Street, yeah. and there's lots of other little small. Do you shops. take your clients to the design? I centers? do. They have a great, great, uh, great things to see there. But I like yeah. to mix it up. I rather find that your little unique artist or a great little antique shop that had something special. Oh. Um, something ethnic that I saw. I, I order things online from companies in Europe mm. because I write a blog too. I do a blog called Designlicious. That's with a Z. And oh, wait a minute. Why are you doing a blog? Because I wasn't crazy enough and I needed I had to write a blog. I love to write about what I, I find because I need to always find interesting things. So I'm interested when I go to, to the opening of the Vanini show at uh, DDC. It's in the oh, anniversary. Okay. Or I, I write see. about beautiful furniture that I saw when I was traveling in St. Bart's. Or I write yeah. about an interesting artisan who's developing, making the most gorgeous furniture line. Or a wonderful painter. I find that inspirational and it makes me a better designer. And more